If you can't install or use the Authenticator app, you can still set up multi-factor authentication using a text message or phone call. When you see the setup screen, click on I want to set up a different method. Choose phone as your verification method, then click confirm. Select your phone number's country code, then enter your phone number. You can then choose to receive a code via text message or to receive a code via phone call. If you choose to receive your code via text, a one-time password will be sent to your phone number. If you have WhatsApp installed on your phone and you have internet connectivity, Microsoft may send you the verification code by this method instead. If you choose a phone call, you'll receive an automated call shortly. Read or listen to the verification code sent to you and type it in on the screen. This step will verify your registration and ensure your phone number is correct. If the code was correct, your registration is complete. The next time you log in, you'll be given the option to receive a code by text or phone call instead. If you're using the text message or the phone call methods, make sure you have a stable phone signal. You should expect the message with the authentication code to arrive within three to five minutes. Occasionally, it may take a little longer to deliver. If you registered multi-factor authentication through text message or phone call and you've changed your phone number, you'll need to re-register. You can do this through the Microsoft Security Info page. However, you will need MFA to access this page, so this method won't be possible if you've already lost access to your old number. If this is the case, please contact us through the Inquiry Hub and we will help you deregister. If you're able to access the Security Info page, click Change under Phone, add your new phone number and click Next. You'll receive a verification code to your new number. Enter this and click Next.